Hello everyone. So I wanted to give a little like uh, channeled information. I am back in my old table. If you guys follow me since I started my channel, this will look very familiar to you. <laughs> um, as you guys know, my kids are home, so I am kind of changing my desk around. I rotate so that my kids don't get bored in one, one area of the house. So with that being said, I do have this ancestors coming in again. I feel like they are grandparents. It feels to me like they are like maternal or paternal, depends. But I do feel like they're coming in with a strong message of hope. Okay, they're saying that you've been praying a lot. I get the message here or the image of someone praying, someone feeling. I feel like there's a sense of hopelessness in your situation. And I feel like this is in regards to something personal. It doesn't feel like it's in regards to what is going on. I know the energy right now is very tense with everything that is going on in the world, right? So, but this does feel a little bit more personal to someone here, okay? And it feels like these grandparents or these ancestors are coming in to tell you to not be afraid of being the jaguar to not be afraid of stepping in your power they're saying you're not expressing something there's something that you're not saying and i feel like they're wanting to encourage you to express your power in whatever way that is for you whether that is in the in your actions whether that is setting boundaries whether that is cutting certain people out of your lives whether that is you know um, the way you express yourself, the way you talk, the way you carry yourself. Spirit is saying here to really carry yourself with dignity. I, I don't know what the situation is or what it, you know, what the dynamic is, but it does feel here your ancestors are really urging you to kind of set boundaries with someone or something here because they're saying, where are you giving your power away? And they're asking specifically, why are you giving your power away? You are such a powerful person. And they're saying, why have you forgotten that? You've forgotten just how powerful you are and we want to remind you. And that's why they're here today coming through in this video to kind of let you know like hey you know remember who you are remember what you're capable of and if someone is not honoring you if someone is not i don't know like helping you or supporting you or uh, seeing the same power that you see in yourself then maybe you know you need to cut that person or that situation out of your life right there's also this energy here of having to carry the weight of the world in your shoulders okay or on your shoulders and they're really coming in to let you know that it's okay to let it go it's okay to drop what you've been carrying you no longer need to carry it i feel like you're someone who loves to carry other people's responsibilities or you you are a helper you're a giver right and sometimes we tend to give too much or sometimes we forget about ourselves and i feel here that your ancestors are coming in to tell you how are you draining your power how are you not honoring who you are right and they're saying it's not yours to carry there's something here that you're carrying around and they're saying it's not your responsibility and it's not for you to carry and you need to drop it okay so let's see i pulled some other cards and i do have tarot here on the side and i have the astrology cards as well we'll be pulling those in a second so let's see directly underneath ancestors we have baby steps okay so again taking action with something follow your intuition before it makes sense so your ancestors are really telling you like things might not be making sense for you right now you might be on the edge this is reminding me kind of like the full energy you know something feels like maybe letting something go it feels maybe a little bit challenging or it feels kind of like a risk because it's kind of like this is what i've known my whole life or this is what i've i have accustomed to or this is what i grew up with and they're saying you have to let it go and it's okay for you to trust your intuition even if you can't see the whole plan yet right even if you can't see the whole picture yet they're saying it's okay take action and drop that heavy load that you're carrying because it's weighing you down and it's actually weighing down also your power is not allowing you to fully embody your power and we have here you know baby steps you know this is not this is not like go cold turkey or anything like that right it takes time 
just being conscious, setting the intention is very important here. And then we have big picture thinking. What did I just say before the big picture? So again, there's an idea. There's something that they're wanting you to express, okay? There's something here, but you're afraid of expressing that. Maybe you're afraid of being powerful. Maybe you were always taught, you know, especially if you're a female, to maybe not be so expressive or to maybe not demand power or, you know, because you come off as bossy or you come off as too demanding. They're wanting you to, to let those ideas go. And also, they're wanting you to look at something from a different angle here with the big picture. I feel like there is something here that you want to do, whether this is a creative project. It feels very much like that here. And I feel like they're wanting you to take action on it. And they're wanting you to take action regardless of what the outcome will be because it's going to be good but you're not seeing that yet right it's not being mirrored back to you see what you're seeing is what you're seeing is this right this is what you're seeing like there's nothing there but in but in reality there is a portal there right there is a door there that is taking you to a different dimension or a different way of living but it's not being reflected to you. All you are seeing is this. And so you might be afraid and be like, no, you know, I shouldn't do that. I shouldn't go after that. And for others of you, it might be too that other responsibilities are preventing you from seeing the potential in this as well. Underneath power, we have, yeah, I can say that. <laughs> Hyreth, Hyreth, longing for home, homesick for the stars. So there is a sense of... Oh, <laughs> And we were just talking about this, I believe, with soul work, if I'm not mistaken, um, about this longing, this yearning. I feel like many of us are feeling this homesick, kind of like, where do I belong? What am I supposed to be doing? Where is home to me? What does home look like for me? And I feel like Spirit is saying, well, your ancestors, particularly here, are telling you, like, you know, that thing that you're not wanting to go after, that you're not wanting to walk through. It's a portal that's going to take you there. And that's why sometimes we feel this feeling of yearning for something. And the reason why we feel that yearning is because they're trying to guide us to something that is better, that is more fulfilling. That is your soul speaking. So do not be afraid of following that yearning, that desire, that longing. Okay? Because your soul knows what it's doing. And so, so does your heart. And sometimes our rational mind, our monkey mind gets in the way, right? Because especially when we can't see the big picture, we're kind of like, well, we know as human beings, we're very, we're very afraid of the unknown. But sometimes we need to take certain leaps, just trusting our intuition and trusting our instincts. And then things will start to make sense. But there's a longing here. And it's okay for you to long for more. It's okay for you to want more. It's okay for you to have a fulfilling life. It's okay for you to want that for yourself. That's not you being selfish. Okay? I don't know who needed to hear that, but that came out. Expression. A new earth. It's happening. Keep holding your vision. So if you've been working towards something and you've been putting your expression, your truth, and you've been expressing yourself, just know that what you want is coming to you. Okay? Know that it is happening. That which you've been longing for it's it's coming it's manifesting okay even if it seems very far in reality it's quite within your reach your other card here is empathetic star seed absorbing what's not yours again there is this energy of especially if you're an empath you're going to be absorbing a lot of other people's energies a lot of people's feelings and and that gets kind of especially if you're right now and this, you know, what's going on right now, we tend to, a lot of us are going to be feeling very much feeling anxiety. Okay, a lot of anxiety. You're going to be feeling other people's energies, the collective's energy here. And this can be very scary or it can be very draining. So we want you to ground yourself at this time. But be very careful. Again, going back to that of not carrying, of carrying what is not yours. There's a big message here about letting that go because it's dimming your power 
It's making you feel powerless in some way. And the thing is, it's not even yours to carry in the first place. So by you drop dropping it and by you even acknowledging the fact like, hey, that's not for me to carry. Why am I carrying it? Will actually allow you to feel more empowered. And remember that, you know, this is this is your life and you choose what you give power to. So remember that. And it's okay for you to express yourself in a powerful way. Maybe your ancestors didn't get the chance to do that. But maybe you can break that ancestral cycle. And be very careful of people, okay? Because this woman has a veil over her mouth. So, you know, maybe people around you are telling you, like, don't express that. Why are you, why are you going to say that? What were you thinking? And they're telling you, you know, don't allow people to do that. Your voice is important. Your point of view is important. So let's see what comes out here, okay, with the astrology. At the bottom, we have moon. So again, a lot of intuition, a lot of feelings, a lot of emotions are coming up, right? So learn to self-soothe is something that I'm hearing. So the North Node, your destiny. I feel like right now during this time, you're being pulled, like I said, in a different direction. And the reason why you're being pulled in that direction is because there is a destiny. There is destiny there that will lead you to your destiny. Okay, and you're going through, I feel like this kind of like a spiritual school, if you will. And I feel like your ancestors are guiding you through that portal that you can't see. Because they want you to blossom. To become this powerful person who can express themselves. The other card is the sun. So again, it's this time of you discovering your essence, right? And it's for time for you to become a life force is kind of what I'm getting here. For a lot of you, there's a lot of healing that needs to happen in regards to a father. And the sun will come out, okay? Happier times are coming. We have sweet paradox of empowering grace again they're coming in to empower you we have empowering twice number 28 which is 10 so a new beginning and then we have king king of the red hawk tribe sorry for the noise outside and then we have number eight she who writes the owl brings justice so justice will prevail here again i do feel like there is this energy of needing balance here with the number eight this is reminding me of the justice card right so there's a need for balance there's something here with tribe your what there is a sense of what has your tribe done in the past and how has that served your community or your gen your future or your generation for that sense and what can you change here right because this card number 39, if I'm not mistaken, is all about overcoming. It's about being victorious. It's about stepping into your power as well. And I'm being guided to get the guidebook. Give me a second. Let me get it, actually. Sorry, I just shook my table. So let's see. Number... Okay, so... It says, when the mind says no, but the heart leaps with joy, we are ripe for a transmission of empowering grace. The sweet paradox is that the more impossible the situation appears to be, the more we are supported through grace and our divine success manifest. Swift, swift and complete, let the faith of the heart overcome doubt. Allow your mind to be filled with wonder at the unlimited power of the divine and you shall bear witness to sacred manifestation. So your ancestors are here to tell you that there is something manifesting for you. Okay? 
there is something manifest for some of you it's about twin flames because we do have the four of wands wanting to pop out here for others of you this is all about wanting a solid foundation for yourself success happiness but there's a paradox so like i said there is this again following your your soul in your heart because that what you're yearning for what you're longing for will manifest even though you can't see it quite yet again because that monkey mind gets in the way right because we want proof of what we are saying they're saying there's something here that you know you need to accomplish there is that sacred plan for you but you need to be courageous and you need to have confidence and you will triumph over whatever feels at this time like a surmountable thing the card i specifically wanted to read was number 39 so on the wings of the red tail hawk a divine message comes so there is a message coming and i feel like this might be for some of you through your clairs okay so whether this is by you know a vision clear audience an epiphany your spiritual maturity has evolved into genuine power and discernment. You have earned your stripes. Acknowledgement is granted. Trust yourself and your destiny. You are ready. Trust in your sense of timing, which is excellent and inspired. Allow the divine to support you as you hover until the moment comes for you to fearlessly plunge into your forthcoming adventure. So there is something that will manifest again. But again, that's why I saying baby steps. And trust in your intuition, right? Trust in your sense of being like, okay, this is when I need to take that step. This is when I need to take that jump. And don't allow anybody else tell you when that is for you, okay? Because I do feel like this path is going to lead you to the sun here. It's going to lead you to that sun, to happiness, to fulfillment, There's a new world. But it's going to be action oriented. So that means you will have to take action. You will have to take that leap. But when the time comes. And for some of you, it's not that time yet. So you're just probably just recognizing what that, that plan is. And when the time is right, you will take action towards that. There's also a huge message here of your ancestors that you have outgrown the old way of doing things. The old way maybe your ancestors did it, your parents did it. We don't even have to go that back. You can go just to your parents. The way your parents did something, you've outgrown it. And so you're you're being asked to maybe try something different, okay? And to know that you are supported in that. And you're going to, right now, you're actually being shown what is holding you back it's kind of like you're being held at bay by the walls okay and it's they're they're showing you what these walls are again so you can release them so you can let them go because some of these things are not even for you to carry again going back to that because they do not serve you and it's time for you to tear away cords of connection or of influence that you know pretty well are not good for you. That you know that what they're doing is actually disempowering you instead of empowering you. And that is huge. There's a lot of insecurities here around being marked as an outcast. You're very afraid of that or being abandoned or being rejected. And you might carry these wounds unconsciously in your subconscious. But you're gonna be you're gonna be strong enough, and they want you to know that you are strong enough to tear these walls down, these beliefs down. And number eight is infinite possibilities that are waiting for you. Karma's coming. Things needed to be balanced. Okay. 
there is a correction of ad dharma here or of dharma if you will There is this sense of spirit is saying, stop worrying about people getting away with certain things. That's not going to happen. I don't know what, whose message that is for, but that's what they're saying. Stop wasting your valuable time worrying about whether some people will get their, their karma or not. Everything will be balanced, okay, in the long run. Things are always balanced. There's something here that you're that's making you feel down or depressed or repressed in some way. You're being asked to disconnect from this right away. Yeah, because they're saying you have to safeguard. Safeguarding. There's something here that you have to safeguard. Because they're saying you have to do this in order for you to accomplish your life purpose. And you don't have time to be spending or wasting energy on people or situations that you know are not going to get you to where you need to be. And not that these are bad people or anything like that, but they're just on a different level or on a different frequency than you. And again, you are not responsible for anybody's healing Everybody's responsible for their own healing. We have to remember that. And that might be something that you might have carry on subconsciously. You maybe wanted to get someone on your level or you maybe wanted someone to progress on their journey. But it's not your job to do so and you have to let these people go. They're also saying what seems like an injustice right now, it's actually a blessing in disguise. So they're saying do not lose hope. Yeah, they're saying trust the karmic justice. So let's see, let's pull some cards to just wrap up the reading here. <laughs> Judgment. Yeah. Use your discernment. Judgment is also... Some of you might be making a judgment call in regards to a fire sign. Because the king of fire just wanted to pop out here. So this might be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. And here's the thing. The justice... Uh, oh, okay. I said the justice. So you might be a Libra. Or justice is being made. In some way. Right? I do feel here with the judgment card, this has finished its cycle. I do feel as well with this card here, judgment is a card about leaving behind an old way of living, an old way of being, and being okay with starting completely anew and doing things in a new way. So I feel like this is where you're at, you know? chariot in order for you to move forward towards your destiny and to know that you will overcome obstacles there's a lot of situations from the past that were coming back yeah an offer with the four of cups there was an offer here but it wasn't as stable as you wanted it to be and so you've been sitting here far too long trying to make a decision and I feel like I just cut the deck 10 of wands. Yeah, you're carrying something that is not yours. Spirit is saying you're beating yourself up over something that was never yours in the first place. And I feel like you've been in this energy, like I said, of going back and forth and trying to make this decision, trying to sit with it, trying to make the best decision for everyone involved. And you've been going back and forth. But Spirit is saying you took too long. And so... Destiny is stepping in, right? Which is the same thing with karma there. Stepping in to balance the scales. Because whatever the situation is has kept you out of balance. And I do feel like it's caused an inner struggle within you. Because I feel like you thought there was potential in whatever this offer was or this situation here. You thought it would lead you to the king of pentacles here towards stability, towards something solid, 
something tangible, something you can touch and grab and taste and savor, but mm -mm, it didn't. And again, this is you. You're the king of pentacles. You're someone stable. You're someone within your power. You're someone who has achieved some type of stability in your life. But because of boredom or because of, you know, the four of cups is being bored with your life situation. You probably entertain that. But I feel like it just wasn't for you and you know you have to end it. And this is something from the past is what I'm getting here with the chariot. It might be with the cancer sign. It might be with an earth sign, okay? But I do feel like your ancestors' destiny, life is stepping in. Stepping in because they're saying this has gotten out of control and you've lost your sense of power. You've lost your sense of power. And you need to regain it. And you will overcome this. If you're worried about your finances, don't be. Okay, I feel like there will be a good offer here financially or this project that you're being called to or this yearning that you feel is going to lead you to that stability. But again, you have to leave behind everything from the past with a judgment in order for you to move forward. Because here, the old, ways, the old ways of being, the old ways of doing things does not apply to this new world that you're stepping into. And it's going to require, it's going to require a lot of, this card just jumped out. It's going to require a lot of will and a lot of discipline from you in order to go after this new beginning. Like I said, to take that jump. And again, be okay with taking baby steps. I'm not saying, you know, go and do, do it right now. You know, it, it, it's okay for you to take your time. But it's something you've been wanting and they're, and they're bringing it to you for a lot of you this is about a man okay because look at the bottom of the deck this is about a relationship or it could be friendships your tribe as well you've been maybe you're at a distance from this person and a lot of anxiety has been stopping you okay and i feel like this person might be messaging you traveling clear something up this person is rushing in to say something and that's what you're wanting because again, this situation has kept you stuck in something. And I feel like your guides and your ancestors are like, enough, enough. We need to clear this up now. Because someone has been putting up a front about something. Someone hasn't been honest here. Or there's been, again, an illusion here. And spirit is like, we need to step in and clear that up. Yeah, in order to end that cycle. Because I just cut the deck and I got the world card. So that cycle needs to end. And it might be abrupt, okay? It might be abrupt. Maybe something you didn't want or you didn't expect, but it's for your healing. It's time for you to heal. We need to start the healing journey now because there has been deceptions here, whether this is self-deception, you deceived yourself, okay? Or someone is not revealing something. And because of that, you can get the whole picture of something. <laughs> Just cut the deck. Justice. Walk away. Walk away. Because you're where you're going, where they're leading you is to your nine of cups, like I said. It's towards that sun, towards that fulfillment, towards that clarity. And the best decision you can make in order to balance the scales is for you to walk away. Or someone might be walking away from you. Like I said, because Spirit is saying you've been stuck in something and they need to take you out of that energy. Because you are the Empress. You are that powerful woman there or man there. But you've forgotten that. And you settled for less somewhere along the way. So that is what I have for you guys. I hope this was helpful. I wish you guys the best. Take care of yourselves. Bye.